So in this video, I want to introduce a, a software package called DeepChem, which is described in this paper here. I'll add a link to this in the, in the video description below. So uh, what is Deep, DeepChem? DeepChem is um, two things. It's a, a series of data sets related to chemistry and a collection of machine learning methods related to chemistry, and they're all sort of in one, one package. Uh, so if you look at the data sets, uh, those are described here in this table. Uh, so you can see there, there are data sets uh, here related to various things. Uh, one thing you'll recognize from previous videos is the solubility data set, uh, which is built in here. But there's also many others, and some of them are really quite large. And so you can read about what they are in this paper. There are also methods, uh, so for example, RDKit is, is built in um, to DeepChem, and so one of the things it has is the, um, the extended connectivity fingerprints, uh, which we've used in a previous video. And they also have a graph convolution, uh, which I've also ta talked about in other previous videos, and, and many other things related to graph convolution. Uh, so it's a very uh, powerful package. Uh, in addition to the paper, there's also a, a book uh, that comes with this package that I can recommend uh, where they work through examples. So I've made a, a Google Colab notebook uh, for installation, uh, which you can find here. I'll add a link to this in the description. Uh, so let's uh, do an example. So when you go into this page, you should save a copy and drive. And uh, so I'm going to call this uh, DeepChem, and we're going to use uh, the ESOL dataset, and we're going to use uh, graph convolution here. And so I'm going to start this uh, going. Now, as I say here, uh, DeepChem is a big package, so you have to be patient here when you do the installation. Uh, notice also, before I get it started here, that um, this is uh, running on a GPU. So let's get started. And that's done. So if we go down here now and import uh, DeepChem, you'll get some warnings here. Don't worry about that. It just means that it's, it's using older versions of the software. Okay, so now we've done that. Let's uh, go and try the ESOL dataset with graph convolution. Uh, so this uh, site here, uh, where you can also find the source code, um, I'll add a link to the description, right, has various um, examples of using DeepChem with the Delaney or ESOL uh, dataset. So I'm gonna pick graph convolution here and go in and basically um, copy everything. And paste it in here. Um, so I like to have all my imports in one place. Uh, so I'm going to grab this uh, and put it here. Um, And this, this one we already have, and this one we can grab. On that, so we have the import. You can see the error message has now disappeared. Um, we don't really need the random seeds, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to separate uh, setting up the model and actually fitting it um, in two different cells because the fitting can take some time. Uh, so let's see. So what we're doing here now, right, we're loading uh, the, the ESOL data set. So that's, that's built in. And uh, the way we're going to we tell it right away as we're loading it in that we're going to describe it with graph convolution. 
uh, and then we split it up into a training, validation, and test set. And then uh, for the metric, uh, in this case, the, it asks for um, the R2, so the Pearson R2 value, and the mean. And here we set the number of features, so we talked about this before in a previous video, and the batch size, and then it finally makes uh, the model, and it's, it's a mode regression, so we're going to predict the actual, or try to predict uh, the solubility that you would measure. So let's try to run this. So it loads the data set. Again, don't worry about the warnings. And let's run the model. Okay, and you can see that the testing is, uh, is done. Uh, so this is on the training, uh, the R2 value, and for the validation score, uh, it's slightly lower. So uh, there are many other ways in addition to graph convolution, uh, right, which you can all find examples of here on this page. Uh, also, of course, it, it's, as you can see, there's not really a lot of things that you that you set here, right? So the, the, the whole setup um, of the model, so the layers and so forth, right, is built in. Now, it is possible um, to, to figure out what's going on. So on this website here, uh, I'll add a link in the description, uh, right? They actually go in here, where is it? Right, and actually define uh, the neural network uh, that they use. Uh, that, that, that's called the graph convolutional network, right? So you can see it has uh, some two layers of convolution with 64 channels, some, some pooling, and then over to some dense layers with 128, and you can see what activation functions they use and so forth. Uh, so it's also possible to uh, go into the source code and see what these methods are doing. But the main point of DeepCam really is that it's... it's um, it's uh, these pre-built packages that they uh, have tested and feel are best for modeling uh, uh, chemistry data sets.